Myanmar. They harvest wood from the forest and drag it down to the river where it floats to the nearest mill to be processed. We're going to give you a working demonstration on how this is still done today. We'll slip the harness over his head. And George is going to pull this big log around the ring for us. As you can see, elephants are quite powerful, and they are preferred over heavy machinery due to the fact that they are more maneuverable. They can also reach those high mountainous regions that other tractors and vehicles can't while doing less damage to the surrounding forest. Now the harness George is wearing is much like the ones used today. This one is made of canvas, but they can also be made of leather. And it evenly distributes the weight across his shoulders and back, so it's no problem for George to pull this heavy load. Now George is going to push the log back to the front for us. You may have noticed around the safari that some of our elephants have tusks. In the Asian species of elephants, only the males have the long visible tusks, and the females have a shorter version known as tushes. In the African species, both the males and the females have tusks. Elephant tusks are made of ivory, and ivory is extremely valuable. In recent years, the price of ivory has tripled. As a result, close to 100 elephants are killed per day in Africa for their ivory. People have been using ivory for thousands of years to create things such as billiard balls, I think he's excited to show us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you think that Chuck can pull that enormous log in the corner over there? Yeah, you think he can do it? I think he can too. But how about you, Chuck? Do you think you can pull it? No? What if I give you a treat first? <laughs> well, that didn't take much convincing. <laughs> Here you go. We'll slip the harness over his head. Dig in those heels and let's see it, Chuck. Oh. Oh. Look at that <laughs> Excellent work, Chuck! <laughs> now when our elephants are young, we do like to keep the loads nice and light so they can get used to the idea of wearing the harness. But it won't be long before Chuck here is pulling a log as big as George did. Now Chuck's a very tidy elephant, and he'd like to clean up after himself by bringing the log to the front for us. Of an elephant is their trunk. An elephant's trunk 
contains over 150,000 muscles and ligaments, which is more than we have in our entire body. An elephant uses its trunk as a hand to pick up things such as food and water, but also as a nose to smell and breathe. We're going to prove to you just how dexterous an elephant's trunk actually is. At this time, I'd like to ask for a volunteer from the audience with a large coin, such as a loony or a toonie, to meet me right here. First one here, ready with a large coin, can be my volunteer. Looney or Toonie would work perfectly. Coin? Okay, we can do both. Come on over, bud. Thank you. You can wait right here, okay? He's going to give the coins to George's trainer. He's going to show George the coins and then drop it on the ground in front of him. He's going to use the finger like projection at the end of his trunk to pick up the coin. Looks like he's got it. Can you put your hands out, buddy? This one's yours. There you go. Mmm. There you go. Now we'll do the second coin. Can you put your hands out, buddy? Just like this. There you go. And he's got it. There you go. Off because they were just up an elephant's nose. Yeah. Now, just like any animal, it's extremely important that we check them over daily to make sure they're in perfect health. The easiest way for us to do this is to ask the elephants to lie down. <laughs> there we go. And now that the elephants are lying down, this gives their trainers the chance to check over their large surface areas. They'll check their feet which consists of a one inch thick callus pad for any thorns or stones that might be embedded or to see if any filing needs to be done. <laughs> They'll also check their skin, their ears, their mouths, and their eyes to make sure everything's nice and clean. Oh no! <laughs> Looks like Chuck wants to check Charlie's feet out too. He just wants to make sure there's no stone stuck in your feet. Maybe we'll give him a treat, see if he'll let go. There you go. How about it, trainers? Did we pass our inspections today? Yes. Awesome, time to get up. Mm. Oh, what's that off? <laughs> How well, as you can see, That's elephants stand quite tall. A full-grown Asian elephant can stand nine and a half feet at the shoulder. So there are no obvious means of getting on and off. Therefore, we had to invent our own ways. The first way George and I are going to show you is called the front leg mount. I'm going to grab off his ear, and he's going to lift me up, just like that. And to get down, he's going to lift his foot back up, and slowly lower me to the ground. Now George and I have always been a bit backwards, so the second way we're going to show you is called the back leg mount. I'm going to grab George's tail. Mm. And he's going to lift me up. Just like that. <laughs> now I'm getting off an elephant. We do have an express method. I'm going to use George's head as a giant slide. Just like that. Thank you, George. Now that you've had a chance to see how our elephants work, we'd like to show you how to play. Chuck and I are going to have a one-on-one -on -one game of soccer. <laughs> Who here thinks that I'm going to be able to block Chuck's shot? Anybody? No? <laughs> okay, well, who here thinks that Chuck's going to score on me? Everybody? <laughs> Team Chuck? <laughs> okay. Well, you might be right. He has been practicing, so I better be ready over here. Looks pretty focused to me. Pretty good kick. Oh, <laughs> and he scored. As you guys were right, now he's going to show us his amazing basketball skills.
think there's some traveling going on. What a little cheater. Family, there's always at least one artist. The elephant family is no exception. Today, George is going to paint us a one of a kind t shirt, which you can purchase at our gift shop. He's going to use the finger like projection at the end of his trunk to pick up the paintbrushes. Now, while George is doing that, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about elephants. They can live to be 60 to 70 years old. A full grown elephant can eat 300 pounds of food a day. This consists of hay fruits and vegetables, and various supplemented grains. Also drink up to 60 gallons of water. Now both species of elephants are in fact endangered. This is due to habitat loss, but also due to poaching for their ivory tusks. Now African Lion Safari does have a very successful breeding program. We've had 17 babies born here since 1991. Looks like George is all done. It's very beautiful. I think he'd like to show off his work. Well, there you have it, folks, our safari elephants. To thank you for coming today, they would like to give you a final safari salute. And a bow for a job well done. down by the lake for the swim. We also strongly encourage you to take a once in a lifetime ride on an elephant located directly behind you. We hope that by meeting our elephants today and seeing how amazing they are and hearing Thank about some of the challenges they face in the world today, that you appreciate them, love them, and help protect them for future generations. Thank you so much for coming to the show today, guys, and have a great rest of your day here at African Lion Safari. Okay, okay.